Is anybody from the public who wishes to speak to an item that is not on the agenda? If so, please come forward. We would ask that you identify yourself and we would give you three minutes. Mark Bunker. 803 North Keene Road, at least for now, because after the last meeting when I spoke and gave out my address, Scientology delivered a big stack of legal documents to the homeowners association at the condo that I'm renting, demanding that I be evicted. Kind of reminds me of when I lived here in 2000 and was working with Bob Minton at the Lisa McPherson Trust, trying to help people who were abused and defrauded by Scientology. One day we heard from a guy who had written a letter to the editor of the St. Pete Times that was critical of Scientology. And the next day, two of Scientology's top PR executives, Pal, uh, uh, L. Butner and Pat Harney, showed up at this guy's job and tried to get him fired. Can you think of another religion in Clearwater that behaves this way? Or anywhere? I'd like to take a moment just to read uh, a quote from the Creed of the Church of Scientology. It says, we of the church believe that all men have inalienable rights to think freely, to talk freely, to write freely their own opinions, and to counter or utter or write upon the opinions of others. Unless, of course, you're talking about Scientology. Like much of what L. Ron Hubbard wrote, these are very lofty words that are totally betrayed by the church's actions. I'd like to tell you about one person who spoke out about Scientology. That's a woman named Karen de la Carriere. Uh, she used to be married to the president of Scientology, Heber Gentsch. After she left the church, uh, she was declared a suppressive person. Because of that, her son was forced to disconnect from her, not have any contact. One day, Karen heard from somebody on Facebook that her 27-year-old son, Alexander, had died three days earlier. And because she was an SP, no one in the family would contact her. And because she was an SP, she couldn't see her son's body at the morgue, and she was not allowed to attend her own son's funeral. I'm sorry, but it's not religious bigotry to say that this is obscene. Mr. Mayor, as you sit down with David Miscavige to try to hash out how you're going to work together, I hope that there's at least a fleeting moment where you think of this mother and son and all the folks who have been abused by Scientology. Scientology may try to have me evicted, but they won't succeed. It may annoy the hell out of them that I stand up here and say something negative about them, and it may annoy the hell out of all of you that I do that as well, but I think it's the only right thing to do. Uh, I moved back here to Clearwater because I care about this city and I want to be a good citizen. A lot of people have been silenced over the years by Scientology and I don't plan to be one of them. Thank you. Anybody else from the public who wishes to speak to an item that is not on the agenda?